Now we also have triple bonds. Suppose we take N2. Nitrogen has 5 electrons in its outermost orbit. Its electronic configuration is 2, 5. So it will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So to make it 2, 8, it needs another 3 electrons. So, it has to share 3 electrons in order to get 3 electrons from the other nitrogen. So, this one is shared, this one is shared, this one is also shared. So, it actually becomes Like this and since three electrons are shared from each atom and a total of six electrons are shared so it is an n triple bond n each bond over here refers to a pair of shared electrons. So, this has one pair of shared electrons, this has two pairs of shared electrons and this has three pairs of shared electrons. One thing you must remember that this is not the, this structure is not the electron dot structure. This is just for your understanding. When you are asked to make an electron dot structure, you have to make this structure. Let us see some more examples of electron dot structures. Suppose we have a molecule of methane CH4. Now this C has an electronic configuration of 2, 4. So it needs 4 more electrons to become 2, 8. So it takes 1 electron each from hydrogen So, there are four hydrogens, this has four electrons, this has one electron each. So, it will share this, this will share this, this will share this and this will share this. And carbon will get all these four electrons. So carbon has four plus one acquired from each hydrogen. So that's four plus four, eight. And hydrogen, as usual, has one plus one, two. Each hydrogen has two electrons. So it becomes stable. Now, In a compound C2H4, which is called, okay, before C2H4, let us see the structure of C2H6, which is called ethane. Now, in these type of compounds, first draw the C and with a single bond. Now, 
C. C has four. C needs four electrons, so it has to bond with four other things. This C also has to bond with four other atoms. So these spaces should be filled, and who will fill them? Hydrogen. Now C. There are six hydrogen, and hydrogen has its one valency satisfied, and C has its four valency satisfied. So this is a structure of ethane. But what's the electron dot structure? Now, this carbon again has four electrons. And there are hydrogen all over it. So first, let us satisfy hydrogen. This shares with this. This shares with this. Now, all the hydrogens have two electrons now, so the hydrogens are satisfied. Now, this carbon over here has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven electrons. This three from hydrogen and four of its own. So it needs to share one electron with this carbon as well. So, it shares this is not shared, it shares somewhat like this. So, it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8. And similarly, this carbon also shares with this carbon and with these three hydrogens so this carbon also has eight electrons so these multiple atom structures you first draw the basic skeleton of the structure like this see the valencies and fill the other valencies with hydrogen in this case and draw the structure so that all the valencies of all the elements the valencies of all the elements are satisfied and then proceed to the electron dot structure